This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. This time of year, they're crimes of opportunity. Sparks Police are investigating a rash of burglaries in the Rail City this week. How to make sure you don't become the next victim regardless of where you live in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. In fact, the Sparks Police are now offering a $500 reward for information leading to an arrest. Good evening. I'm Wendy DeMonte. I'm Kristen Remington. Thank you for being with us tonight. Now, police say witnesses have seen two young Hispanic men going to people's yards and pulling screens off the windows in order to break into the homes. Paul Nelson spoke to both Reno and Sparks police officers today. He joins us now live in Hidden Valley with some ways to protect yourself. Paul, what did you find out? Well, Kristen, police officers tell us that both car and home burglaries tend to go up this time of the year. With so many people getting ready for Christmas, it turns out a lot of criminals take that to their advantage. Now, they'll remove anything that they can find, anything from KC lights from a vehicle to tools, computers, speakers, a lot of home safes. All of these items are stolen property from one search warrant that led to four arrests. Large items like this scooter to garage door openers often taken to break into houses. Make sure your garage door is locked. A majority of the recent burglaries are occurring through the garage doors. With just three weeks till Christmas, burglars are looking for easy targets. Even Christmas trees in the front window can trigger break-ins. If you do keep presents under your tree, make sure that it can't be seen from the outside of your house, at least while you're asleep. Make sure your uh, blinds are closed. That's because thieves normally aren't tempted to try to steal what they can't see. You can also avoid putting gifts under the tree altogether. Keep the, the presents in a, in a secured area. Keep them in a room, in a closet. Uh, if, if you want to have a couple under your, your tree, maybe make some bogus presents. Just put some empty boxes, wrap them up, put them under there. Other precautions can make it tough for crooks to get into your house. It seems basic, but always make sure your doors and windows are locked. Additional window locks and dowels are another good deterrent. Dogs and alarm systems can also scare would-be criminals away. And if you're not home, try to make it look like you are. We encourage people to either leave a TV on or a radio on, so that way it has the appearance that someone is in the residence. Most of the criminals are looking for opportunity. If you give them a more difficult opportunity to break into your car, into your residence, they'll go somewhere else. 17 car break-ins have been reported in Sparks just in the past week, and generally 75 to 80 percent of those cars are left unlocked. Police say a good idea is to hide your things, lock your door, and take your keys. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.